built into this station manager is an application called Security Advisor. Security Advisor is based on what Synology considers to be best practice. So for us as home users, we can use Security Advisor to check that we have correctly set up our NAS. A Security Advisor can also be used to regularly audit the security settings on a NAS. Anyone new to working with a Synology NAS can use Security Advisor to act as a failsafe to warn them about system changes that they've made which may have compromised the safety of their data. In order to use Security Advisor, we first need to log into this station manager using our administrator's credentials. Now from the DSM's desktop, if we open Main Menu, we will find an application called Security Advisor. When we select Security Advisor, because this is the first time that we have run this application, we are asked what type of environment we will be using our NAS in. You can see that we're presented with two options. The first is for home and personal use, while the second is for work and business. As we are setting up our NAS for use in a home network, we will select for home and personal use. When we select Start, Security Advisor creates a baseline of settings that it will query. As this is the first time that we've run Security Advisor, the application will now complete a full scan of our NAS and display the results. The Security Advisor window has been divided into two areas. We have a main panel that contains information about our scan, and then a sidebar that contains four options. Overview, Results, Login Analysis, and Advanced. Within Overview, our NAS is given a security rating based on the security baseline we chose. Underneath our security rating, we have five headings which group together the different settings that have been tested. When we select one of the headings, we are taken to results and shown the group of items that were tested. In order to see the results for other security tests, we need to return to overview and select another heading from the list. If we wish to know more about a particular test, if we highlight one of the items in results and then select view, a window will open displaying the details of the security measure being tested. Let's now select Advanced. Within Advanced, you can see that we have three headings, Security Baseline, Scan Schedule, and Report Settings. The first option is Security Baseline. This group of settings will allow us to change the security baseline we initially set when we first ran Security Advisor. If we select View the Checklist, we can see what tests were conducted as part of this security baseline. As this baseline is for home and personal users, you can see that not all of the items listed have been ticked. Let's take a quick look at the security baseline checklist for work and business. While the items listed are exactly the same as those found in the for home and personal use baseline, because a NAS that is intended for use in a business environment will need to adhere to stricter security rules, more options have been ticked. As we cannot edit any of these settings, if we wish to create our own security baseline, we will need to use the custom option. A custom baseline would most likely be used by someone that needs to audit specific security provisions in a business network. If we select Customize Checklist, we can now tick the various options listed. This in turn will allow us to create our own security baseline. However, as we are setting up our NAS for home use, for now we will leave the security baseline set to for home and personal use. By default, Security Advisor will automatically run every Wednesday at 4.24 a.m. However, under Scan Schedule, we can choose when and at what time a scan will run. So let's change our scan schedule to run once a week on a Sunday morning at 11 a.m. Report settings will allow Security Advisor to generate either a monthly or daily report. We can then configure Security Advisor to email that report via the notification settings we already configured in a previous video. In order to create our reports, we first need to specify where the reports will be stored. 
as we've already created a network share called system reports, we now need to specify where our security reports will be generated and then stored. We can now choose to enable monthly and daily reports, depending on how regularly we wish to receive a report. However, as our NAS will be running within our home network, we have decided not to be as strict with our security auditing as we would be if we were in a business environment, which means that we will not be enabling any of the report settings. Let's select Apply and save our changes, and then take a look at Login Analysis. Within Login Analysis, we can monitor anyone that has failed to log into our NAS. If we take a moment to look at a Synology NAS that we've already fully configured and made accessible via the internet, you can see that within Login Analysis, Security Advisor is notifying us that someone has attempted and failed to log into our NAS using the default admin account. If we highlight a login entry and then select View, we are provided with information about what that individual was trying to do, where that person comes from, and how to make our NAS more secure. Let's return to Overview. If you've been following our video series, when you run Security Advisor on your NAS, you should also receive a good rating. However, let's take a quick look at the differences between the four home and personal use and the four work and business baselines. If we once again select advanced and change the security baseline to for work and business, when we select apply and return to overview, because we are using a stricter baseline, security advisor will issue us with a warning. While our NAS still passes most of the tests, security advisor suggests that we need to make changes to three network settings. If we select Network, the results from the items that make up this portion of the test are displayed. The three tests that our NAS failed are highlighted with red caution symbols and have a severity level of medium. If we double click on one of the tests, we are presented with a report that identifies the issues and suggests recommendations on how we can fix the problem. For now, as we're in the process of setting up our NAS, the settings that Security Advisor has issued warnings against, we will not review until we finish configuring and testing our NAS. Also, let's not forget that the security baseline that we are currently using is for work and business. So because we are configuring our NAS for home and personal use, we may decide that the security recommendations we see here are not required for our needs. For now, let's reset Security Advisor's baseline back to for home and personal use. This will once again return the security rating of our NAS to good.